All right, just to update on the TSC 300, this is what my bike looks like. It has no engine, no carb, swing arms not connected. That's it. And I still don't know when I'm getting it fixed. I don't know when I'm getting a new engine. It's kind of shitty. But when I'm left with a broken engine for this long, it takes shit apart. So I went through this whole engine. Got my other case parts over here. And I guess I, I do have more video of like the complete disassembly process, but really it's a 2017 to 2019 counterbalance KTM engine. Identical. <laughs> like every bolt is in the same spot. Everything is act is identically the same to a KTM 300. Um, power valve is identical. Um, actuates off the water pump the same way. There's the power valve actuator. Uh, clutch is different. We'll get to that in a second. Covers all look the same. Uh, shaft. Bendix, flywheel, all this stuff looks identical. Here's my left side case. Everything looks very normal. This part's different. So on KTMs, they have a cutout here and the rubber piece like slides in. That actually that might be cut out. It might just be covered by uh, <laughs> covered by gasket maker. But that's a big annoying part of these engines is they use gasket maker around everything instead sometimes they do use actual gaskets as well but they also put gasket maker all over the engine so every every case and everything has gasket maker holding it together so take note of that if you're taking this bike apart everything is going to stick you require case splitters to take this case apart because it's not even though it's designed like a ktm it's not a ktm so very annoying and for that reason alone I don't like these engines just because all this gray gasket maker comes out and it's all sturdy so anyway everything's the same um, except for I was going through the clutch last night and I was kind of curious so KTM clutch has eight friction discs and nine steel discs and the steel discs are different size on a KTM. It's like one millimeter for top and bottom one and then 1.4 for all the ones in the middle. These ones are 1.3 millimeter steel discs. There's only eight. And far as I know, just one of them is one millimeter. So it's almost as if they're missing one disc. Like I don't wanna, my caliper may have been a little bit wrong going from 1.3 to 1.4. Let's. I'd say that's a margin of error, but I'm definitely missing a disc, a steel disc that exists on a KTM clutch that doesn't exist here. So KTM clutch, I think I worked it out, OEM spec is like 27.4 millimeters, and this clutch pack height is like 20, it's 1.7 millimeters less. So that I did notice, um, and I believe Meg's Brap mentioned some issue with the clutch feeling funky and I was like oh well that might be it right there <laughs> so difference on the clutch everything else seems the same and now to my actual problem so when I put coolant in my bike it was leaking coolant there we go it actually cracked my engine cases so I got a big huge crack right there and there's actually another stress crack right up here that's much harder to see, but that one just flowing right through. And something like that, um, I'm not gonna fix it, it needs new cases. <laughs> Part of me wanted to just throw some JB weld on there and be like, let's see if it works, this is for science. Because, I mean, obviously this case is junked. Um, but I guess just to look at things, this crank had a, uh, had coolant sitting in it, and it's actually not horrendously bad. Coolant didn't do any corrosion. Everything looks pretty good. I did measure uh, the runout or the uh, 
side to side lateral motion on the crank here and I got 0.65 millimeters which I think is in spec I think it's up until you're like at 0.75 I got to double check that in the KTM manual but I, I'm I'm curious on all these OEM specs because I'm opening a brand new engine this thing should be well within spec for everything so that's what I'm checking um, so far I haven't really seen anything off um, the only other thing I can think of right now is uh, the reeds. Where are those guys? Right over here. So, not a huge... I mean, I'm a little concerned about these reeds. So... If we look up there at the reeds, there's light that looks like it's really making it through there, and they do not look closed off, which I can see that making a, being a big pain in the ass, because um, that'll affect how your engine's running. <laughs> um, I'm, I usually, unless they're supposed to have that gap, but I, I usually expect to reads to be pretty closed off not letting in a bunch of air so i don't know i'm not gonna worry about it per se and i guess with the new engine i'll probably get new reads as well but they'll probably be the same type of reads i'm not expecting any change in this this doesn't feel like an error this feels like this is how they designed it even if it is a bad design but yeah i don't don't fully trust those but uh, anyway, 2017 to 2019 KTM engine, as far as I can tell, identical. You could probably swap any KTM part you wanted on this engine. Um, I, in fact, used the KTM repair manual <laughs> to take this apart. So it, it is, you, you can look up uh, KTM bottom end videos and it'll be identical for these bottom ends. Uh, same at the top end. Obviously, it's not TPI, so you don't have a that stuff on there it's just like the old simple ones but exact same power valve exact same cylinder everything's identical if it only worked then we'd be perfect like as it sits now it's pretty useless to me and it kind of it's a nice summary of china <laughs> but hopefully uh hopefully in a few weeks i'll get a new engine and uh get this resolved i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this one i'm probably going to just throw it back together I mean, obviously, someone's got to redo the cases anyway, so this has all got to come back out and be redone. So, not like this thing's going to be run. And if I put it back together, I would actually put this thing back together wrong because of that. Like, I'd put that counterbalancer in backwards and make this thing shake apart if you tried to start it, because no one should be trying to start this engine. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully, we'll get it fixed soon. Uh, yeah, I got to get out and get some riding on the other bikes. Take it easy.